Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona and this is your question of the day. So, somebody asked me, a company recently trademarked a fairly common phrase that I've seen hundreds of brands use. Their registered trademark is for clothing. Can I use the same phrase on a completely different type of product? Can they come after me? Okay, so when you apply for a trademark, you have to tell the USPTO what you're claiming as your trademark and what you're selling it on. Um, so it is possible for multiple companies to have the same trademark as long as what they're selling with it is different enough that nobody's going to be confused. So that's why we can have Delta Airlines, Delta Dental, and Delta Faucet. Nobody's going to think that those are all the same company. They're definitely three different entities. So from that perspective, is it possible that multiple companies can have the same trademark? Yes. Um, now, they can't be too closely related that consumers might be confused. So whether or not this person, what this person did is, is going to interfere with your ability to use the same trademark, I don't know. Go talk to a lawyer um, because it can't be the same product or one that they are likely to expand into, and it can't be a situation where consumers are likely to be confused. So, mm, sorry, there are no black and white answers in the law. If the law were black and white, we wouldn't need lawyers. Um, now, you also mentioned trademarking a common phrase. That is allowed. Um, again, um, why multiple companies can have the same trademark. I know Paris Hilton got a trademark for the phrase, that's hot, for like a handful of different products. Um, so that was completely legit as long as they were using that, that slogan on their products. It's permissible. Now, if people are using a trademark and then somebody registers a trademark, but you are using it before they registered, that's okay. You can keep using it, but you can't expand your geographic market. When they got their registered mark, you, that essentially, and you're having, you have similar products, that freezes you in your geographic market. You can't expand from that area, and then whoever got the registered mark can't come into your area. Um, determining where that line is often has to be determined by a court. Um, but that's how that works. So what can happen is a brand will start using a mark, somebody else will register, and then this first brand has to decide, do we want to just be limited to this area um, or do we want to rebrand if we want to expand? Um, so that's those are as much of legal decisions as they are business decisions. So talking with a lawyer can help you understand your options and then you can decide what's right for your company. Uh, of course, watching this video does not create an attorney-client relationship with any viewer. It is merely legal information, not legal advice. If you need legal advice, go hire somebody. Uh, thank you for watching. I put out new content every week, so please subscribe. And until then, I will catch up with you later. Take care.